15, yeah, nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, a very, very good morning from uh, Ted HQ. Rick Walker, Gallimera to you. Thank you very much. Oi, oi. How's it all going? Ted Coningsby channeled live here at uh, RAF Coningsby. Hope we're all good. A very, very warm welcome and dry at the moment. Welcome to the main ASP, Coningsby, Ted HQ. Good morning to everyone, hope you're all good. And uh, yeah, Ted and I were uh, quite late last night, um, <laughs> but we got back safely, that was the main thing. And I hope you enjoyed the farewell fly past, eventually that got to Wattisham. Just uh, past uh, 6 p.m. Hope we're all good, hope we're feeling good and ready for Ted Tuesday action. We're at RAF Coningsby, Ted's home who uh, lives not far from here. <laughs> just uh, just over those hangars there. That's right, just beyond the tower at 29. He loves it. We're looking at the uh, Eurofighter Typhoon of the Royal Air Force. This is uh, Coningsby, RAF Coningsby in Lincolnshire, Bomber County, Lady Shenton Teddy Bears. Where once thriving with bomber stations and bomber airfields. RAF Coningsby, as ready as it was in 1940, is still as ready as it is today. A QRA station. So we were at Watershire Airfield yesterday a former Royal Air Force base, now that I've got that right, <laughs> used to take over the role of QRA of the South. That I learned yesterday, amazing, uh, with Phantoms and English Electric Lightnings. Today, the Typhoon takes on that role. How are we all doing? How are we feeling?
great start. <laughs> oh dear. How are we doing, Lady Sheds? <laughs> I love the way he shakes his head. The, uh, the bank account of Ted is, uh, it's going to be quite thin on the ground, bless it. Let's ride. How are we doing, ladies? Chance of Teddy Bears, a very bright day, very sunny day here at Coningsby. Hope we're all good. Ted, how you doing, mate? You good? <laughs> Did you get your beret? Let's uh, let's make sure it's above the correct way. There we go. Because sometimes Ted uh, puts it on really quickly, and of course, he's our squadron leader after all. My name's Nikos. I'm your cameraman and commentator. Welcome to the show. Uh, they use, well, we believe they're using runway 07. No caravan here just yet. Maybe it's stuck there. We don't know, but. I know that the runway is not officially quite open yet. Maybe is there a runway open, Craig? It is. Okay, thank you. Sorry, Craig Bruce is with us as well. Uh, welcome, everyone. We're at the uh, newly laid out Spotters Car Park, which is. Oh, we've got a chippy as well. Right. So, Ted Coningsby channel. My name's Nikos. I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. We believe they're using runway 07. Oi, oi. How you doing? Absolutely brilliant. Hope we're all good. Welcome everyone. Honestly, welcome to the show. It's been a fantastic, fantastic year already. And um, let's uh, let's get some chippy action. There is a chipmunk up. I was gonna just delay. Actually, we're early. We're early on our start. But uh, as it's a little bit of rush hour at the moment, um, we are by a road, of course. Just gonna wait for the uh, spoons to uh, drown out the traffic noise. out start of the day with the chipmunk this is part of the uh, inventory of the Battle of Britain Memorial flight welcome to the show ladies gents and teddy bears so Ted uh, Ted Coningsby channel live here at Ted's home RAF Coningsby it is home to the Battle of Britain Memorial flight as well uh, with an inventory of two de Havilland chipmunks six Spitfires that's right two Hawker Hurricanes a Avro Lancaster serial number P4 PA474 and a Dakota, but they've uh, their own Dakota is currently at Duxford. And I believe they've uh, leased one. They've got one rented out, leased. They've leased one out, or the other way around actually. They have one loaned out. That's the correct word. Borrowed from the uh, from Duxford. Just a little bit of sharp light, but we'll uh, we'll whack a, an ND on. A neutral density filter on. Probably stick a two on there. One fourth, there we go. Just a, I'm talking camera stuff now, but no worries. You enjoy. So, yeah, it's also home to two combat ready frontline squadrons. That's three fighter and 11. Oh, hello. And 11 fighter squadron. It's also home to 41 squadron. We can see the markings there. Test and evaluation squadron. home to the operational conversion unit 29 squadron they train the junior typhoon pilots oh yeah and home to 12 squadron as well a joint Qatari a Mirai squadron so 
five squadrons in total flying the Typhoon. They uh, have the FGR4 version. There are a few T3s floating about. That's the two-seater trainer. Enjoy the show, ladies and gents, teddy bears. Enjoy the show. Good morning to everyone that's tuned in. Dave Holloway, Captain A, Mayor Marshy, Davey, Margot Baxter, Chris Bloxham. How's it all going? Stephen Parkin, members, how you all doing? Selwyn Owen, Davey, Mayor Marshy, how you doing, bro? LEJ Approach, hope you're good. And uh, lots of uh, subscribers here. Ali Jordan, Gary Moore, Plain Spotter, how you doing? Hope you're good. Baker, Stephen Parkin, hope you're all good. Alan Burden, how are we all doing? channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Hit the like button, ladies, shits and teddy bears. Started a little bit earlier than uh, than anticipated, but no worries, we couldn't resist. So we're at the uh, the newly laid out Spotters Car Park. Welcome everyone. Big shout out. Uh, we'll pan it over as well. We've got the Royal Air Force uh, Association charity with uh, the Crazy Duck Lady as well, which we'll pan over. She's got lots of uh, lots of goodies. Pin badges, uh, rubber ducks, all going to uh, the Royal Air Force Association charity. Oh yeah. And, uh, during the break, we'll uh, just show you what she's got. I'll let her know we'll uh, be panning it over to her. I wish we had smell a vision so you could smell the jet fuel. I get. Frank Wyszynski, how you doing? Uh, that is correct. So the uh, black sort of sooty, sooty? Hello. <laughs> the black soot. Uh, that's the APU, that's the auxiliary power unit. And that is the soot generated from the fuel, the auxiliary power unit. Um, that's where you can plug in a Typhoon and start it up at a push of a button using a, a auxiliary unit, a power unit to start it up. QRA jets are ready with this so that the uh, pilots can scramble to their jets. Oh, 
Ted. Morning, how are you doing? All right, I'm happy to feel that. How are you doing? All right. Love your work. Thank you very much. Thank Love you. Thanks work. very much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice busy day for us. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Yeah. What's out Blackjack going on? I'm not too sure just yet, but I know there's a uh, display slot around 10-ish. Right. Yeah, about quarter past 10, I think it is, yeah. on the according to the acres. So hopefully... You'll get about one. Oh, I do try, man. Yeah, it was a late one last night with the captions, but we're all here. <laughs> well, your footage is as good as everybody has seen. Thank you. Thanks very much. It, it took me a while, I know I made a few people seasick during my early days, but uh, oh, it's still there. Yeah, it's top quality content. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, appreciate your work, thanks. How are we oh, going? Hey, man, how are you doing? Yeah, good, good, yeah. Yeah, I've got a choice of you, Scott. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's not nice. It's a lot of people in this hand here as well. Yeah, great. Yeah. Really good. It was a great day yesterday, long, but great. Yeah, were you here? Watterson. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, well, I was waiting for the. the a farewell fly pass right in the lane and uh what was flying i don't know what they okay so it's the apaches oh okay yeah the, yeah the mark one was right. on that day and right. the other fly pass right uh, there was four of them yeah um i started at nine and they didn't finish till seven a gal i know actually uh oh she put some pictures up this morning Delia, you know Delia from liverpool mm, she's an yeah. uh, uh, ambulance dispatcher oh, yeah. i had a job here what squadron did you say? Did you say a squadron? No, 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 no okay, no. sorry. No, the ambulance, you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. She put in the car, look, she went there, look. What, uh, what is she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's awesome, sorry, sorry. That was my plan, eh? Yeah, she does some pretty decent pictures. Um, yeah, she's got some pretty decent pictures. Yeah, she's got some pretty decent pictures. Some mate has said, you've seen this abuse to your favourite mate. And she said, uh, honestly, we would have had more fun being shooed to death by hamsters. <laughs> oh she's got, I mean, she's a good photographer, goes around, does Yeah, 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 that's there. good. Yeah, she said it wasn't, wasn't a good day. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. wasn't. No, it didn't uh, sound like it. Sorry? It didn't sound yeah, like it. Yeah, it sounded it. very wet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was my plan, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I've been trying to get to Shortbury, yeah. but, uh, no, because I, I like to cover all the bases, but, yeah, yeah. uh, um, but it was so wet, and then I thought I'd go to Lynham, it was going to be wet there. Right. And I was thinking I could go to Cambridge, and I was like, it's hit and miss, like Duxford. I was like, I'll just go to Watersham, and yeah. then anything between their takeoff and the, the arrival, I was just the button. But they kept us entertained, it was a, a, we did an air test for about an hour. All right. Just hovering around, doing yeah, lots yeah. of moves, so that was, right. that was worth it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you wait, you know, just yeah. wait for ages, because I thought, oh no, go on take off, see you later. No, it, it stayed in the area for an hour. Right. So that made up for it. It was good fun, it was good fun. Uh, I always talk about the history as well, which is right. really amazing history. Yeah. I, I didn't know it was a QRA station. Oh, right, no. I, no, I don't know anything about yeah, it. Yeah, it went, it was, and then I, because I talk about the history, at all bases, and some of them leave. Right. Uh, uh, phantoms from here going to watch and stuff like that. It was really, really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Right. How long did it take to get there? Uh, hour 45. Not too yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're on the move. Here we go. I'm wondering if the, uh, if he's going to be too easy to slot to get to. Well, he's got one 10 feet. Yeah. 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 Then we're going to be down to 1,000 feet today. We need 50 nuts to lock up, I think. He's got one man. Maybe it's not the best day. See you again, man. You too. Take, Take care. care, man. Right. One way carrying that makes you feel better, right? <laughs>
Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the one and only Ted Connorsby channel. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, let's ride. Did that sound so sweet? I know this is uh, obviously serious, but um, but that's good that they can, you know, this is what I've always talked about, the professionalism, the calmness of a pilot, because there is a point of no return with some aircraft. Once you've reached a certain speed, sometimes it's too late to abort or something. Um, I know that's the case with commercial, um, some of the heavy aircraft, but uh, I'm not sure about the foons and the agility, but, uh, but it's amazing to know that they keep calm and just abort the thing. Brilliant, abort the take, reject the takeoff. I really went for it. I will, I will twist round 180, just not just there, I wasn't prepared for that one. Don't worry about that. Sun's out, guns out, smiles out. That's what it's all about. Having a good time. Oh yeah. Nice touch and go, by the way. Right.
are on our way to 45,000 subscribers, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Come on! Havilland Chipmunk, uh, there are two in the Battle of Britain Memorial flight inventory. Uh, they, they use them for training and uh, they do use them to carry out wrecking to new venues. recommend the stream I'll start the uh, I'll start the like button now while we can before everything goes really food time hit the like like we said I oh, actually can't hear me forget it <laughs>
beautiful pairs take off. Lady Sheds and Teddy Bears, how are we all doing? Welcome to 10HQ. will tell you there is no point commentating over a typhoon there is absolutely no point <laughs> you won't hear it <laughs> Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby Ted HQ so uh, the emblems uh, that you've seen the, the uh, sorry the squadron markings uh, was 12 squadron and that's uh, a, a fox that's right and uh, there that's uh, markings of 12 squadron and that was a pairs takeoff that you see now 12 squadron are a joint Qatari and Mirai squadron. So this is a pretty good sign of a display, practice display coming up from Turbo when you've got the emergency crew out. This is a good sign. How are you doing all right? You know you're still here, don't you? I, but Ted does. Oh, I don't. I'll just listen to him. Oh, thank you very much. You good? Uh, yes, very well. Yeah, I thought we'd try it here today. Let's see everyone. Yeah. Always hiding, you know, in little different <laughs> places. But uh, now the, the fact that they're using zero seven be pretty obsolete over the and stuff. So this is just right. It's perfect. Yeah, it's great. They've done a good job. Really good job. Yeah, really good job. Yeah, there, there was, yeah, it wasn't like this last oh, year. No, no, you could actually get a quick practice running into those. Oh, but, but, uh, but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I won't go into that. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Anyway, have fun. It'll be a busy one today. Have fun. Enjoy. Right, Ted Connick Speed Channel. Now, the markings you can see here are 41 Squadron, and uh, they have my favourite motto, Seek and Destroy. They are a test and evaluation squadron and their HQ is actually in, uh, at Waddington, the warfare he um, headquarters and that's the test and evaluation squadron. Oh yeah, seek and destroy. That is a pretty good motto. I do like that. Don't forget to hit the like button, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Don't forget it's not like an Instagram post or a, a Facebook post. It really has a big impact on our channel when you hit the like button. As you've seen yesterday and all our other streams, we've been managing to get a thousand likes on every single main show that we do. And basically, a thousand likes will get YouTube to recommend it. If we're all chatting away on the uh, chats, keeping it buzzing. Oh, sounds like we've got typhoons on the other side. 
And uh, yeah, ladies, gents, teddy bears, if we get a thousand likes, for example, YouTube will recommend the stream. And getting a recommended stream means more exposure. More exposure means more viewers. Um, and then hopefully those viewers could convert to subscribers. And that's the way our channel's growing. We're nearly at 45K. Will it be today at Ted's home? Come on. There is a uh, potential practice display around t quarter past 10. Let's hope so. And I believe, is that the emergency one coming back? So this side, so this side is uh, 29 squadron, 41 and 12. The other side has three and 11 fighter squadron. And of course, naturally, the Typhoon display team is on the left and the Battle of Britain Memorial flight too. Welcome to Ted HQ, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears. Still looking on the bingo. You see it from there? Oh. And that's been lent. It's a borrowed one, right? I believe this is the one that um, rejected the takeoff. you probably can't hear it now but when you tune in and watch it back thank you for all your help mate and all your uh, notifications thank you and everyone else has been sending me uh, messages of certain uh, certain movements just much appreciated honestly thank you turbo one radio check so we do have a practice display potentially oh yeah come on
it's a busy one today there's more foods coming out let's ride here we go Here we go, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, Ted Coningsby channel, live here at RAF Coningsby. Here we go. It's food time.
no. Oh, thank you very much, man. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure 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 I'm
keep me running. I believe it will be again at 1500 feet. I think he's got one left to do at this. Either one or two. Oi, oi, how you doing? Yeah, amazing, mate. All good. Ready for this practice display? Yeah, just made it in time. You did. All right, let's, uh, let's see where he is. So, Turbo will be cleared to run in for his display very shortly. So Turbo is actually a call sign from Six Squadron at RAF Lossy Mouth. And uh, Turbo has borrowed it, why not? Because the pilot is Flight Lieutenant David Turbo Turnbull. And if there's a call sign available with your nickname, why not borrow it? <laughs> Here we go, get ready. Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the one and only Ted Coningsby channel. Uh, we'll be holding first for a moment and we'll be clear to run in for the display. Get ready. So he'll be out by Spilsby at the minute. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby, Ted's home. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if this is Turbo's last or second to last. Uh, two more to do before he brings it down to 500 feet. There are more startups. This will be a bit of a challenge for me to do this from here. The display with the sun, parts of the display will run in. I've got an ND filter on for a little bit for this. This should take some of the sharpness out. Let's have a look. forget to hit the like over a thousand watching hit the like everyone let's get this channel recommended once the like button has been smashed then YouTube will recommend it trust me when we get a thousand likes YouTube loves that especially now that the chat is buzzing it's all good so hit the like button and YouTube will recommend our stream and that happens for all our videos and uh, and live streams as well it's not like a Facebook post to get a numbers game it really does make an impact by just hitting that like button and it's free so all you got to do you're watching it on your smart TV it does have an option to hit the like button whether you're watching it on your wobbly jelly or your dog and bone or your lamb chop <laughs> that, that's like a that not that, that's like a tcs uh, cockney rhyming but anyway it will do i think laptops were invented when cockney rhyming started don't forget to hit the like button come on once it gets recommended, like I said, YouTube will recommend it, and that means more exposure for us, and more exposure could mean more viewers. And more viewers could lead to, you got it, more subscribers, come on. We're so close to 45k. Here he comes. Here we go. I bring you Turbo.
and that is our Royal Air Force, man. Beautiful, nice one turbo. A bit challenging in these conditions, I'll tell you that much. Nice one turbo, beautiful. Well done. You should be proud of that one. That was excellent, that was uh, absolutely crystal. Really good. Yeah, it did. That was a good uh, video bomb, wasn't it? it was that, uh, I'm not sure. I don't know, it was a couple of hawks, just... Uh, that was pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, round of applause please for Turbo. be happy with that what do you think let us know in the chat room now don't forget to hit the like button ladies and teddy bears we're a little bit slow on the like button today what's going on come on
Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. It's going to be a busy one today. There's more typhoons coming out. Oh yeah. Mind you, it's probably the better day of the week today. So let's do this. the day. <laughs> Woo, yeah. <laughs> Man, they're coming from everywhere. What's going on here?
Typhoon FGR4, Eddie Shed to Teddy Bears, fighter, ground, attack and reconnaissance, that's what the FGR4 is uh, marked for, Typhoon, here we go, send it.
live to you. I don't think you do the live. Yes, yes, today's live. It's live to you. Yeah, but I'm in tune with it. Nikos DiCaprio. First time I've held my camera and it's warm for the rest of the whole year. Amazing. Did you get a photo of of the two hawks? No, it's a sword and it looks like a hawk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was quite off-putting. How are we doing, ladies and gents? Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby channel live here at uh, RAF Coningsby. How you doing? Where is he? Where's he from? Foot, huh? Callum, are you watching from Shawbury? How you doing? High five! <laughs> You're welcome. Woo, yeah, here we go. Nightmare flight. I tell you what, it's absolutely buzzing here today. Hope you're all good. Really, really. Uh, it is challenging, I must say, the, with the sun, but you know what? This way. So this is free fighter squadron. Bird shall be the first. And the reason for that and the reason why they've got a cockatrice as their uh, squadron crest, their emblem, is because in mythology, <laughs> apparently it was the first creature to fly. And the squadron was the first to fly heavier than air aircraft. There we go.
beautiful. Not bad. It's my first time uh, streaming here in this spot. It is good. <laughs> Two more. Here we go. Right, here we go. say that again what a morning it's uh, absolutely non-stop and uh, what a <laughs> all sorts going on a practice display millions and millions of takeoffs two aborted uh, takeoffs I can't find my team uh, we've got blackjack on in the uh, turbo there we go lady sheds and teddy bears how are we doing I hope you enjoyed that man it's been non-stop it's probably one of the busiest I've seen for a long time. All that's missing is a is a vertical climbing PTO. We've had a PTO with the reheats, but uh, wow. How are we all doing? Thanks for joining us, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby channel. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, look, a fly pass just for me, look. <laughs> Here we go.
Well, what a morning it's been. It's been incredible. I haven't even given you any history, which is great. But we'll save that for the break anyway. Um, it's been an incredible morning. Wow, you'd have to agree, this is one of the busiest. And I can still hear Boone's running at, over at 3 and 11 fighter squadrons. <laughs> I have a billion guards marches, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I will be getting some guards marches, don't you worry. You know how it is with the TCS. That's going to get a workout in a minute. I'll tell you what, I can imagine afternoon displays, the lighting on here will be less, less, uh, less sharp. Nevertheless, I have had a ball here, man. Loving this car park for uh, zero 07 for sure. Right, if you just excuse me, Lady Shantelli Bears, I am going to hunt my tea. I cannot find it. Where is my tea? So I'll leave you with Blackjack at the minute, which uh, went out earlier today in a practice display from our very own 2024 Typhoon Display Pilot Turbo. That's right, there's no Anarchy 1 this year, it's Turbo is the new call sign because that's. Uh, that's Turbo's nickname. Why not? If you've got a nickname with the course. Right, I've got to hurry up before the next lot come in. <laughs> Give me a sec. Right, where have I put my tea? Tea, just need the milk now. <laughs> I can't function without tea. I need my oh here comes another one. <laughs> right, good news is I found the tea, I just need to find the milk. Instead I bought a milk. <laughs> And uh, if you are in the Spotters Car Park, don't forget uh, we have the Crazy Duck Lady, apparently. That's what she likes to be called, or known as. Uh, you can support the Royal Air Force Association charity with lots of cool stuff, man. Check it out. And also, there are refreshments. Uh, where are you? There you are, mate. Thank you. And there's a burger van as well. And uh, a plenty, plenty of typhoons to go with your tea, coffee and burgers. Have fun. Wedding photography in me there.
coming in. This is incredible day, man.
1,000 likes. Thanks, Arya. Now you're doing. I haven't had a chance to even be on the chats today. It has been absolutely nice. <laughs> Mayhem, thanks for that. <laughs> I know, I've got a pending... Oh, hello. <laughs> Good. It's only seven minutes past 11 and I think we've had a week's worth of typhoons today. Uh, we are in the spotters car park and uh, it makes a change. Definitely one for the future for us here. channel live here at RAF Coningsby, Ted HQ. So Ted uh, lives over there, 29, just over there, that's where he lives. And uh, he's this side of the fence today, bless him. And thanks for everyone that's tuned in. Um, and yes, when you gift us, when you gift someone a membership or take out Ted Coningsby membership or give us a super chat or a super thanks, uh, you will get a Guards March shout out. Um, it's been that action packed haven't got round to doing them, but you know me. We, we store them up. Ted's going to get his steps in. Just 
course the only downside is really the, the sun, but um, hope that hasn't ruined your experience today. Been trying out a little bit of an ND filter with it. I don't really like using them because you're panning from left to right into the sun, out of the sun, and it's, uh, I am a man of uh, I'm using manual rather than auto. thousand likes we're nearly at 45,000 subscribers we are very close to that now right, I might have a little run and go and try and get my uh, try and get the milk What's there? Let's go and find that little Where is it? What have I done with it? Um, I'll show the ones I bought as well in a sec. I just need my tea. <laughs> I found it. Oh, your uh, your kits on my uh, on my stream, by the way. For I love. It's that wedding photography detail in me still. You know, I used to love stuff like that. Shoes on the floor, and I used to love photos like that. What a day! Oh, he said. Oh. oh dear. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that. Actually, I haven't done my ground rules, uh, house rules. I'll do that in a sec. I've got. Uh, yeah. Not I oh, know I'm about to take mine off. Right, ladies, sheds and teddy bears. I do apologise for not being on the stream much, but then who wants to see me? I know you want to see Ted, but um, it's uh, first of all, what a day! And uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't be a stream without this, right? <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, if you're watching, man. <laughs> you know it is. You know it is. But um, oh, it's been a cracker of a day. Absolutely amazing. Um, I, I I found my tea and I found the milk eventually. Um, it must have had a bit of a tumble, but what a day! Um, I don't know. I, I could say safely we've had a, a good 20 takeoffs about that. I'd say so about that, but uh, yeah. yeah. Right, let me go and have a look at the uh, Guards March situation because I know we've got a lot, but um, thank you everyone. We've hit a thousand likes. We're about 48 subscribers away from 45k. It's been incredible.
this is going to be a bit of a challenge to do. You ready for this, right? Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be, it's got quite a lot of guards marks to do. I might even take my jacket off, you're right. It is, I've got thermals on, I've got it all on. in the viewing area I'm not actually stripping off I'm taking the jacket off um, right uh, here we go right here we go Woo! Ted how you doing man here we go Ted's got some catching up to do right I think we've got a chance to do it Ted here we go Let's see how many we can get done Ted's about to do his steps here we go Tiff Law, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. With the cycle. Oh, look at that. A bike ride. A cycle pass. Margo Baxter gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much, Margo. Guards March. Thank you so much for that. High five. Uh, Lisa Stevens, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Guards March for you, thank you very much, uh, Lisa Stevens. Thanks for joining the Ted Coningsby Squadron. <laughs> uh, Jonathan McDee gifting a Ted Coningsby membership, thank you so much, thank you. High five, Guards March for Jonathan McDee. Also gifting a membership is Tony Rivers, high five, Guards March. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Margot Baxter, thank you very much for the super sticker. Oh, thank you very much. Guards March. Thank you so much. Jake celebrating 12 months membership. Is that the typhoon coming in? Right, we're gonna have to stop there. Uh, Jake, thank you for gift, uh, thank you for your 12 month service. Thank you so much. Morning all, he says, and congratulations. Honestly, thank you for 12 months service, thank you. Graham McRobert, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank Ted. Right, we'll have to, part two on the guards marches, food time. <laughs> Here we go. Graham Robert, thank you very much. <laughs> Colin Booth, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership. Guards March for you, thank you very much. Thanks so much for doing that. Uh, Gordon Rowland, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Guards March for you, thank you very much for joining us. It has been a very busy day, Ted. Thank you very much. Uh, Simon Labury, member for 13 months with the TCS Posh Officers Club. Thank you so much for your 13 months loyal service with the squadron. Thank you so much. Linda Cotton, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. Ted's getting a workout. I have to get Ted like a Garmin watch or something. Um, <laughs> David Wolf Manuels, please like, subscribe, and share. Unlike this super chat, um, those are all free and help the stream. Oh, thanks a lot, David Wolf Manuels. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. 
Jonathan McD gifting another Ted Connors B membership. Thank you very much for that last march for you. Thank you. Slarty Bart Pass, thank you for gifting five Ted Connors B memberships as well. Thank you very much. Thanks so much everyone, honestly. It's incredible. Thank you for that high five. Thank you, Darren West. Welcome to the TCS. Thank you, welcome to the squadron. Who's joined us, Darren West? Another latest and greatest member of the day. Thank you very much. Christine Barnes, top turbo turnout. Thank you very much for your super chat, Guards March. Uh, Roderick Campbell. Uh, it's easier for me to give than to share. No social media for me. Best wishes to all from Newfoundland, Canada. Thank you very much, Guards March, for you, man. With Typhoon shutting down in the background. Lovely. Richard G, thank you very much, our latest and greatest member. Uh, Richard G, thank you, Guards March, for you. Honestly, thank you all for doing that. That's so kind of you. Roderick Campbell, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron as well. Another latest and greatest member. Uh, Eliza259, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much, Guards March. Thank you. Richard G, uh, for an air tag for Nikos's tea mug, LOL. Thank you very much. Guards March for you, man. Thank you, Richard G, as well. And uh, Guy Ewan, oi oi, it's Foontastic Day, send it. Oh yeah. Well, thank you very much for that. That's so kind of you. Thank you for your super chat, Guards March. Thank you. Thanks everyone for that. Right. I can now have some tea. Message from Arjen. Let's have a look. What have you got there, mate? Uh, 139 Pedro, oi oi Ted HQ. Can we have a shout out for my son Jordan Watts, avionics engineer working hard? Uh, I've just lost that message. Working hard over at Free Squadron, loving the live feed. No worries, Jordan Watts. How are you doing? Hope you're good. what you do then Jordan Watts thank you for that so this is more of a ground crew drew day today as we can uh, get to see the main ASP uh, ASP aircraft servicing platform well what a busy day even get to uh, do the uh, housekeeping rules when you come here. Uh, so that's for Jordan Watts, uh, guards march for Jordan Watts. Jordan, how you doing? I have ordered Ted a new RAF ensign. Uh, it's mangled, bless it. Um, it's, uh, we've had to, thank you Jordan for what you do over at Free. Thank you. So ladies, gents and teddy bears, hope you're all good. So it's going on, isn't it? Don't forget, ladies, gents, teddy bears, when coming to not just the Spots car park, uh, treat it as a generic. When you're coming here, please, uh, please, please um, do park sensibly and uh, be careful of the main road that you can see in front. It does have quiet periods. There are lights to stop the traffic when traffic coming in. Um, there are bins provided, but we, as, a, as a channel, we always recommend to put it in a bag and either take it home or then put that in the bin. The bins look uh, like they've got solid lids on, um, but we always say to uh, take it home if you can, but there are bins provided. Again, if you're crossing over the road, do be careful. It is a busy road. Uh, don't lean, uh, rest your ladder, don't cut the fence, don't climb the fence. Uh, under no circumstances, fly drones. Please do not fly drones, it is illegal. If you spot anyone trying to even attempt um, to fly a drone, please contact the base. There are numbers dotted about, spaced out and signs for that. 
Uh, again, laser pens is an absolute no. Both of these drones and using laser pens will get you in serious trouble with the law. If you are parking here and venturing down, please do not locate yourself. Uh, the RAF Coningsby has put out a post on social media for, uh, I won't pan it around, um, but there is a red and white fence down the bottom. Please do not stand there. Uh, at, it, under no circumstances do you even park there. Again, double yellow lines. Uh, treat it like Waddington as well. Uh, there are uh, red and white fences further down, painted down there. Please do not stand in front of them. It is for your safety. They are made and designed in a way to take the jet blast, uh, to protect vehicles as well. And should that day happen that the pilot gets it a little bit wrong, it could terminate your visit to Coningsby. Um, and it will probably end you in hospital or worse. Please do not stand under no circumstances. You will also suffer a lot of uh, hearing damage as well. And I know next week and probably from now, some schools it will start to get very busy as uh, summer hol uh, school holiday, sorry, beg your pardon. And there's gonna be a lot of children. Please protect your children from the road and standing at the red and white fence. If you're going to 25 end, they don't have a red and white fence. I know, but do not uh, look at the uh, approach lights and treat them as an imaginary red and white fence. Please don't stand under net. It will hurt, it will damage your hearing. And that's come from the base itself to not stand at the red and white fence. Please, ladies, gents, teddy bears. And that is for your safety. Again, if you do come across them, please don't block crash gates with your vehicles. Uh, not really an issue here. There is a crash gate uh, six. Crash gate six, please don't park there. I'll show you it, just so that you know what crash gates look like. Just that. So no park, do not, under no circumstances, do you park your car there. They are called crash gates for a reason. It's for emergency situations and they're called crash gates. It's all in the name. They will just smash through that to get to rescue and recover through the aircraft. We did well, Gam, staying here, man. Go. <laughs> it was a bit worrying this morning. We had the runway caravan at 2.5. It was rather worrying. But as the as we go later in the afternoon, this would be an excellent spot if we get an afternoon uh, practice display. The light will be less sharp. It'll almost be sort of to our right. So I'm looking forward to if we get a second display in the afternoon. Yes. Yeah, we're not sure if it's that's his last one at 1500 or if he's got one more. We are I'm not 100% sure it's one of those. I mean, it's a nice day. The rest of the week is emotional. Unless he does it on a Friday while the base is closed. That could be a good one. He did that a Friday. Uh, well, that's when we were there, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. And I think it was closed then. Oh well. There, there is a small print that does say aircraft may operate outside the tunnels. There's the chipmunk from the BBMF. How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy bears. Hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby Channel. So close to 45k now.
So you'll be pleased to know we've just got 36 subscribers to go on that. It's an incredible. used for training and recce's for the Battle of Britain Memorial flight is the Chipmunk. Here we go, the Havilland Chipmunk. Usually uses the call sign Chippy. Get a few circuits from this. Let's have a look. How's that main ASP looking? Silver Trick, how you doing? Hope you're all good. Marco Baxter, Roger, how you doing? Shane Davis, Davey, White Wizard, oi oi. How you doing, Christopher Carr? 
loving this view it's a good view because you get to see the main ASP it's quite good you get to see ground crew Drew doing his thing Mayhem Marshy how you doing hope you're good what up Darren Arwood how you doing Jimmy Bartlett how you doing Annie G oi oi How you doing ladies, gents and teddy bears? So Ted Coningsby channel at Ted's home, Ted HQ. So we can now finally talk about the base. So flying squadrons here at RAF Coningsby, we have uh, three squadron, 11, uh, sorry, three fighter squadron, 11 fighter squadron. Uh, we have 12 squadron. Uh, I'm not sure we've seen 11 squadron out. Uh, we've also got 29 squadron, which is an OCU. That's an operational conversion unit. Uh, 41 test and evaluation squadron. And I think that's everyone. And of course, we've got the Battle of Britain Memorial flight and uh, the Typhoon display team. And we are in, uh, it's one of two quick reaction alert stations, the other one being at Lossy Mouth. There is a third one, uh, but not here. Uh, it's out at Port Stanley in the Falkland Islands, the 1435 flight. And it's home to two frontline combat ready squadrons, as we mentioned. Ah, oh, yeah. And it's also home to the Airland Integral Cell as well. how we do it with the history here on the channel. So currently they have runway 07 and 25. They also have a, another smaller runway for uh, lighter aircraft, especially when it's uh, strong crosswinds. You'll find that the BBMF will use it as well sometimes when there's strong crosswinds, and that's runway 12 and 30. So plans for the base were started out in 1937 to so the Air Ministry had to expand and um, part of the it was part of the RAF's expansion plan uh, so it was decided to purchase uh, land here and uh, there was a bit of delay for a few years but uh, work got underway and RAF Coningsby opened during the Second World War um, on the 4th of November 1940 it was under number five group I don't think number five group are about anymore I don't think I, think, um, I don't think they exist anymore, but it was a, a bomber group during the Second World War, and it was part of uh, RAF Bomber Command. First flying unit, you know, we like to say this, it was uh, 106 Squadron with Handley Page Hamdens, which Hamdens, which was a medium bomber, arrived here in February 1941. And uh, with active operations taking place the following month when four Hamdens uh, went into Cologne in Germany. The squadron was also met by 97 Squadron, equipped with Avro Manchester's as well. So, and they took part and participated in, in the Thousand Bomber Raid on Cologne in May 1942. Uh, you would have also seen uh, Avro Lancaster's as well. Uh, the famous Dambuster 617 Squadron were briefly here as well. Until they swapped over with 619, um, they did a swap from Woodhall Spa. So 619 came here uh, with Avro Lancaster's and uh, 617 moved to Woodhall Spa. And uh, you would have had the 619 squadron just very briefly here. They did go to uh, Donon. 
uh, Dunham Lodge. So the Lancasters arrived here. They're equipped with Favreau Lancasters, a 617 squadron. And like I said, they uh, swapped with 619, a straight swap. I think the reasons were they needed a bigger runway, but then when 619 came in with Avro Lancasters, well, it was going to be the same situation, so they moved them to uh, 619, went to Dunham Lodge. Uh, there were further Lancaster squadrons here as well, uh, 61 squadron, 83 squadron, and 97 squadron as well. I believe 97 were also at Woodhall Spa. After the war, you would have started to have seen the uh, Mosquito, the legendary Mosquito with 109 squadron and 139 squadron. Now, this became part of number three group, and uh, also had uh, Boeing Washington aircraft here from the uh, from 1950. So the very first jet aircraft to arrive. Here we go, because obviously we've got jets here now. Uh, it was in fact the English Electric Canberra. It was the very first aircraft uh, jet aircraft to be here, stationed in 1953. Uh, during 1956, the runway, uh, the station expanded with the runway being extended uh, for the arrival of of Vulcans. But I believe um, in 1962, when they were here, during the very short period before they went and um, transferred to RF Cottesmore, I believe again they needed to uh, have a bigger runway. And um, with that, they went to RF Cottesmore, and uh, the Vulcans were uh, put in as a QRA during the Cold War era. Next up to arrive there was plans to replace the Canberra and uh, there was all sorts of aircraft in mind and one of them also was the F-111 but they decided to go with the Phantom instead. It was the Phantom FGR2, number 6 squadron arrived and uh, that was uh, that was the uh, that was the replacement for the Canberra. There were, like I said, there were other aircraft in mind, but uh, they chose to have the FGR-2, the Phantom, with 6 Squadron, and also 54 Squadron as well. They received their aircraft. Uh, there was also the first OCU, which was 228. That began in October 1968. Also, Air Defence Phantoms FG-1s also entered service in 1969 at Lucas. And don't forget, it was when we were at Watersham yesterday, the Phantoms from here actually moved to Watersham to play the QRA role. So that was, I love it when things come together like that. I sound like Hannibal <laughs> from the A-Team, but you know what I mean. But uh, it was nice. I, I love it when a lot of the history interlinks with everything. Uh, 41 Squadron joined in 1972 and stayed in until 1977. Um, and again, they replaced, um, there was all sorts, again from Watersham, replacing their uh, Lightnings with Phantoms. Uh, 29 Squadron joined and stayed until 1987 when they disbanded. 23 Squadron joined in February 1976. But as we mentioned yesterday, 23 Fighter Squadron moved to Watersham. In March 76, 56 Squadron again, uh, they stayed here until 1976. Again, they went to Watersham as well. So very, very linked with yesterday's history. Absolutely incredible. The Phantom Troll changed to Air Defence in October 74 when the airfield transferred to number 11 group strike command. So the Jaguars came here, the Sapicat, uh, Cat. Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Cat, Sepicat, Jaguar. <laughs> I've never been able to pronounce that. It's, uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, so, so they transferred and again, different roles and then swapped. So once the transfer of the Phantoms played a QRA role, over at um, Watersham. Don't forget there was also a quick reaction force at Leeming with the F3s. So here come the F3s here at um, Coningsby. Uh, they began to run from 1984. So tornadoes then came. Uh, 229 Squadron OCU number six, and 65 Squadron. Uh, the training took place until 87 when the Phantoms finally left for Lucas as well. And Coningsby had the first number 29 Fighter Squadron. The Tornado Air Defence Squadron. So 29 Squadron um, weren't always an operational conversion unit. Throughout history, and especially during the Second World War in France, they were actually a fighter squadron. During the Gulf War, tornadoes from Coningsby were based uh, for three months of, at uh, Doran International Airport to participate in Operation Granby. Um, so tornado engines were serviced on the northern section of former RAF Woodhall Spa, uh, denoted as RAF Woodhall. So again, Jaguars here, F, um, F3, 
tornadoes, all sorts. And then of course, finally, 17 Squadron arrived here with the very first swap over from the tornado to the Typhoon. That's right, 2005 17 Squadron arrived here with the very first Typhoons. And secondly, of course, 29 Squadron had them next. And then Free Fighter, they moved here in 2004 and uh, number 11 squadron became operational at Coningsby shortly after that in July 2007. So lots of history. 12 squadron reactivated in July 2018. Um, they were integrating into a Qatari Emirai Air Force. They also have um, a joint Air Force uh, 11 uh, Qatari Emirai Air Force in uh, RAF Leeming, I believe with the T2s which act like their RAF Leeming. So they have a training aircraft over there. Um, there's a joint RAF and uh, Qatari Amirai squadron training them up to then go on to fast jet training to fly the Typhoon afterwards. So there we go. So that's pretty much the Typhoons uh, covered. And then of course on the 28th of May 2021, that's right, ZJ914 had a paint job. It had Blackjack, the Union flag livery, and uh, Flight Lieutenant James Saint, he took the maiden flight of Blackjack along with our very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Lots of history, and I love the link with uh, Watersham as well with that really, really good bits of history. Absolutely brilliant. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Hope we are all good. So plenty of action today. Like I've always said, you know, it's one of those where kids get inspired when they come here. They come here, they come to uh, Waddington and get inspired. It is incredible. You know, they see a Typhoon display pilot, they see the red arrows, they go to air shows. It's really important we, you know, this is a lovely, you know, it's a great hobby, great community, you know, and it's great. Ted, how you doing? You enjoying that, yeah? Ted's, Ted's loving his phones. He loves it. <laughs> Ted, you are right there, mate? You want to go flying again? We'll ask Turbo if he can take you on another flight. Or, well, he hasn't flown with Turbo yet, but we can ask him. Ted, do you want to go? Ted wants to fly in the Typhoon. Maybe you can go over uh, Buckingham Palace again, Ted. What do you reckon? You want to go? Okay. So uh, we've got the troop in the colour coming up, the King's birthday. So hopefully uh, Ted will be picked up and uh, taken on a flight of his life again. That would be great, wouldn't it, Ted? <laughs> well, hopefully on that day they use 07 and we can come here, actually. It's quite good here. It's really, really... Oh, hello. Awesome. My name's Nick Oss, I'm your cameraman and commentator, and this is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, who lives over there at 29. So Ted's, uh, Ted's 29 squadron representing. And uh, uh, for those that uh, I've noticed, Ted doesn't have an officer's cap badge. We understand that not everyone's a pilot, and Ted represents all of the Royal Air Force. That's right. Uh, we've actually ordered Ted a, uh, not only a new RAF ensign, we've also ordered an Army Air Corps flag as well. So when we do cover British, uh, British Army and Army Air Corps, we've got the Army Air Corps flag. Uh, so when we go to Watersham again, uh, we can do that. It was a very long day yesterday, but worth it. Absolutely incredible. And uh, we are very close to 45K. Hopefully we get another Typhoon display practice uh, later on in the afternoon we, we're not too sure if he's got if a turbo's got one left or if that is it and he now drops to 500 feet we're not 100 percent sure you may have overheard me about friday um marham is closed coningsby is closed lake and Eve is closed now i've put down on the noteds that we're going to bryce norton now i know there are a few of you that want to come and um just buddy up with me that's fine but i don't think we're going to do it uh, due to the fact that i totally forgot it is good friday and they're off um well two oh that's a cool shot two of the main i don't know if i'm going to be able to get nah it's too late or maybe have a look at this um yeah the uh, a lot of bases are shut so there won't be many tanker Thanks, Arjen. Uh, Joey, yes, Ted would like to go in a P-51. That would be great. That would be awesome. Yes, please.
Ian Wright, how you doing? Annie G, Chris Bloxham, Synchro Tones, Angus Cooper, how's it going? Gotta love the Kestrel, that's right. Tell you what, it's so cool this place. I, uh, see, things happen for a reason. It was uh, runway 07 in use and I was thinking, well, do you know what? Uh, Readham Lane ain't gonna cut it today. Foon display or not, the only disadvantage is the uh, is the sun. But I tell you what, for an afternoon practice, it will be good. Overcast will be wicked here as well, actually. Overcast will be perfect. So you could see us again if it's zero seven. I mean, it won't be too bad if they're coming towards us either. If they're using two five, it could be something. It's not as busy as the other side with the road, but again, please be careful with that main road if you've got children, especially now that kids are on holiday. Um, even adults, please be careful. I know we get excited when we take photos, but um, it, I, I believe they have a 60 speed here. Um, I think, I hope, I hope it's 40. Um, I hope they do change it. It's just, you know, with, with a viewing area. I think they've done that at the Wave in Waddington. They've reduced it to 40, which is wicked. It's brilliant, thank you. Whoever, whoever agreed to that is brilliant. You know, just slow it down just for this bit. It's not gonna do any harm just for a kilometer. Oh, 40 miles per hour. Hello, thanks a lot everyone that's tuned in Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby and uh, we are very close to 45k in fact just 16 to go <laughs> hey man how you doing oh, you're right yeah good do you not see what sun's coming out oh I don't know I know the station we're at the younger right now it's out is it yeah. I don't know I've got no details at the minute we can only hope Nah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be good. Today's a good day for flying. So uh, yeah, hopefully. I know it's been pulled out. You never know. I uh, can't see it from here, but I guess it's. You've seen it, have you? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. The fish towards anger. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. Hopefully, mate. Hopefully, it'd be good. Hopefully. Hopefully, another display later. Fingers crossed. I mean, I know tomorrow's not the best weather tomorrow, so hopefully, all good. Yeah. Yeah, it's great today. I've actually taken my jacket off for the very first time. Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry? Okay. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. They'd be good, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they would be great. Really good. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, today? I uh, got here about, I think I got here about eight, half eight, eight, about that. Just uh, thought I'd try a new spot, because they're using the 07, so I thought I'll give it a go. It's worked out okay, actually, it's been really good.
to just 16, one, six subscribers. What a day it is. Dee -dee 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 -dee. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Just uh, 16 to go, one, six. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. See what we've got coming in. Must be loads of typhoons still out. as the channel is totally growing every second. So yeah, good thing about um, the Spotters car park, you get a nice view of the main ASP, something we don't often see when we're at our uh, random places around the base, whether it's uh, Crashgate 1, 2, Readham Lane or uh, at Runway 25 end. And as you can see, you can get waves here, which is great. So it's probably the best, probably the best spot for Runway 07. Again, if you're new to all of this, what does all this mean? Well, actually, it's quite nice to see the uh, Runway Caravan at uh, Runway 7, here it is. That will give you an idea of what runway's in use. And it's all to do the wind. The wind is blowing towards us. So aircraft will go into the wind, if that makes sense. It's not behind them, like tailwind. Aircraft will take off and land using the runway that's blowing against them, okay? Hope that makes sense. So the wind's blowing from the east. So they'll use runway numbers 0, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10, depending on how, e you know, it's not going to be exactly east, is it? The wind isn't that precise, but it can be. But um, it'll go into the wind. So if the wind's from, from the west, they'll use runways um, like 25, 26, 27, 28. These are the bearings, by the way. These are direction of travel. They've just been shortened. So it's almost like 250 degrees or 270 degrees. So 07 is almost like 70 degrees, okay? That's what that means. So it's going to travel in the east direction, 70 degrees. All it is, if you were to uh, get a compass on that runway and pretend you were on an aircraft, um, you, what you do, you take a, a bearing, so it'll be, let, let's take 71 degrees, right? Let's just say it was 71 degrees. You round it off to the nearest 10, which is 70, and you take off the last digit, leaving you seven. So that's runway seven. If you were to stand at the other end, you'll probably get something like 251 degrees or 249 degrees again, it depends. Round it off to the nearest 10, which is um, 250. Take off the last digit. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. Chaos. Is it 
Chaos Flight? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. And there's taxi holding points uh, for particular. There you go. There's um, the uh, runway one two, which is and runway three zero, which is sort of tucked in. It's snug somewhere over there. It, you can't really see it because we're quite. You know, um, I, think, I think it might be that there. I think it's that one. Oh, there you go. And that's uh, holding point November one. The short runway over there tucked in you can see it sometimes obviously not here uh, so yeah so there you go two five and zero seven now why is there there's always a difference at 18 why because the other end of any direction the opposite side is 180 degrees and because we've been round uh, rounding them off to the nearest tent well there you go that's why they're 18 180 degrees the opposite direction right there you go Nice one, buddy. Yep, I see him. Thank you. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, look at this. a pretty little plane in it there now <laughs> the reggie and me coming out there now <laughs>
Hello. He's wasting money. You alright, mate? He's wasting money. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Embraer, thanks for that. ALJ145. Hey man, thank you. That kid's good, man.
have been treated well today, haven't we? This is the Ted Coningsby Chair, giving you live military aviation around the country. Yesterday at Wattisham, today at Ted HQ. What's this over here? Oh, it looked like a hangar brake, actually. Nicely done. Oh, up you go. Up you go. Brilliant. Hope you enjoyed it today. And, uh, it's only the first wave, and what a wave it was. It was more like a foo wave. <laughs> Ted Collinsby Channel, how are we doing? Hope we're all good. get to subscribe to the Ted Coningsby channel. We are just a mere two subscribers away from 45k. <laughs> oh, what absolute lovely. I'm sure there's someone in the uh, viewing area that hasn't subscribed. Oh, that's right over my head. Oh, oh. Oh. Weirdest bug on my finger right now. Hang on. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oh, it's, you know what? You uh, you go through the winter, right? You're getting rained on, hypothermia, and then you've got the uh, 45k. Nice one, man. Yes, get in with 45k. And then it. <laughs> well, that's irrelevant. What I'm about to say now. Let's just uh, there we go. Thanks, chipmunk. Maybe that was a, a 45k celebration chipmunk fly past. There we go. Unbelievable, 45k. Who'd have thought it? Our little channel with the little mobile phone. 
45k and that's thanks to all of you our community absolutely incredible day to get 45k and what a day it was to get 45k 45,000 subscribers hit today oh yeah Woo. <laughs> Wicked, man.
move like salmon. Check that out. Oh, someone's making a rumble. on the low approach. does it nicely does it well what a way to finish i think that's the mall back i think that's everything back what a way to finish wave one with 45k as well oh my days oh sorry about that bit of the sky there now <laughs> well there we go lady shenty teddy bears well who's ready for wave two right better go and get some go and get some salmon for ted And uh, battery change as well. Let me just check. I think that's everything back. Yeah. That's it, Lady Shenzhen Teddy Bears, wait, one complete. Well, what? Uh, I don't know where to start, really. I mean, there was a lot going on, wasn't it? And also, for, for our part, we've also hit 45,000 subscribers as well. Unbelievable. Amazing. Right, that's, uh, right Lady Shenzhen Teddy Bears, it's time for a break. And what, uh, well, just to round this up for the day, uh, so far, and we're not going anywhere just yet, Ted Coningsby channel. First of all, thank you everyone who's uh, subscribed today to help reach us get to 45,000 subscribers. Also, those that have already subscribed and been with us from day one, 
from day two, day three, from day any time, honestly, thank you for our hardcore subscribers who have stayed with us for all this time. Thank you very much from myself and Ted. Thank you, 45K. And what a day it's been to have 45K. We've had Typhoon display practice. We've had billions of departures. <laughs> We've had the Embraer, Chipmunk doing circuits. Phenomenal. Two, uh, a pair's departure as well. Just incredible and a thousand likes as well already smashed amazing ted and i are going to go and get something to eat quickly and i've now found my tea so it's all good so we're just going to have a little recharge and refresh ready for part two i'll be in the chats in just a moment i'll leave you with the main asp but honestly for and all of you who's um, given us super chats and um gifted memberships and took out ted Connors new membership honestly thank you all so much it is it's all down to you for making it work to what it is Be right back. See you soon. Lady Sheds and Teddy Bears, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel membership. I'm Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members. Guns up and our year. Take it away, Ted. Lady Sheds and Teddy Bears, we want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country from as far as Lossiemouth to Bryce Norton and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centers and special flights for TED2. We cannot do this without your support and your support will be rewarded. You can now join the TED Coningsby Squadron and help fund the channel to get us around the country and provide us with the funds for equipment to bring you better content too. We have three exciting membership levels with awesome YouTube perks to reward you back for your support. Our first level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Squadron. You'll get a loyalty badge on YouTube, unique TCS emojis that you can use on comments and live streams, members only videos which include behind the scenes, deleted scenes, sneak previews and also music videos that Ted likes to play the electric guitar on. You'll also get access to members only Discord server and a discount on all of our Ted Connorsby merchandise. All of this for just $1.99 a month. Oh, yeah. Our second level of membership is the Posh Officers Club. <laughs> this includes all of the squadron perks, private Posh Officers Discord chat room, Posh Officers discounts on all of our Ted Connorsby merchandise of supporting the TCS even more. This is just £4.99 a month. Our third level was inspired by many of our fans who have been supporting the channel massively. So we'd love to reward you back with this and our third level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron. This gives you a more personal experience with me and Ted with exclusive live streams and content. You'll get a free Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron patch, a private Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron Discord chat room, a gold color Discord username, and a higher discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All this for just $25.99 a month. Lady Sheds and Teddy Bears, the Ted Coningsby channel cannot thank you enough for all your support. And it's this support the dream keeps the stream. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah.
Lady Shen, steady bears are we all doing up? We're all good. Ted Coningsby channel, now a 45k channel, hope we're well. And uh, looking forward for wave two already. Hope it's gonna be as busy as uh, wave one, which was incredible. everyone who's tuned in today and supported the channel Thank you. look at the foons there now well, I don't think we're going to be waiting very long I don't know got this funny feeling it's all going to go Again, full out. from inside the base. Uh, <laughs> amazing. subscribers how are we all doing ladies and teddy bears hope we're all good so we're just waiting for uh, wave two could be any time now i'll tell you what if we do get a practice display now now will be the perfect light now now will be all good but uh it's certainly um thanks for everyone's uh comments about our choice today of uh coming here i think it's fantastic First time I've, uh, I've been here before as a, as a novice, back in the days, just starting out. Pretty cool. But uh, never done a live here, so it's, uh, yeah, I'm loving it.
I'm live streaming mate. Oh are you? Oh yeah. brilliant mate. Yeah good. Is good. that is that for the live stream now? Oh I'm yeah, yeah. internet on. Yeah yeah right now you can join in. Make sure you tell Oh yeah. fantastic man. Yeah, That's we, uh, are you expecting a lot of planes to come off? Hopefully, uh, hopefully soon. Oh fantastic. Hopefully another go. Good luck with it buddy. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, mate. no worries mate. Thanks, good luck. Man. Cheers buddy. No worries, mate. Thank you. Do you remember Bryce? Yeah. That was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, no, that nothing will beat that one. That was that's the best. How does that beret stay on when you do that move, Ted? I don't know how you do that one. You don't know. <laughs> Chris Blossom, how you doing? Hope you're good. Margo, how you doing? Hope you're well. Hope everyone's well. Lots of names to mention. Mayhem, Marshy, David, Dr. Soda, Ellie Jam, Proach, Tim Gooch, White Wizard. How you all doing? Argen, how's it going? How span a flight? Moderators, and uh, of course, Ted leads by example. <laughs> Managed to find a Ted size, Kimberly. Thank you for that. A Ted size spanner. Whose is it, Ted? Is it Drew's? Yeah, he's left it, has he? Ted saying that uh, Ted's special spanner fixes everything. One spanner does all. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? All right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah, probably just typhoons, yeah, but... Uh, no, no, I know typhoons, it's more something else, is that I, d I don't know, literally, I'll just take it as it comes at the minute. Yeah, that's yeah until I hear anything else other than that, that's it. No worries. So yeah, this would be tied down, obviously. This would uh, take off to the moon if it wasn't. Seems like they're doing a full engine. Oh, we've got more foods on our left, started up, I think.
in here, there's the Royal Air Force Association charity. Check these out, man. Oh, Ted, look at Ted there now. <laughs> what else we got? Only £1.50, and it supports the charity. Look at him. They're using runway 25 just to make, to make it a little bit different as they're coming towards us. Absolutely incredible. Teddy bears, don't forget our new patch for the year. We've got our uh, our latest blue skies patch. Check that out. Oh yeah, we have this one. Velcro as well. Also got our key tags. I know the Claire Bear likes doing this. Send it. And of course, 
we have to be a little bit different with Ted. Remove beret before flight. If you're a fan of the F-35, Valkyries and uh, Grim Reapers, check that out. Oh yeah. So startups, Ted Connorsby Channel, waiting for wave two to officially start. Looks like 41 Squadron will begin things. Wave two, let's go. Let's ride. Such a good spot, you have to agree, right? Especially when using 07. Okay, the light is very sharp. We are working against the uh, sun there now. And lorries from uh, Waddington.
you ride. <laughs> They weren't hanging about. That's literally taking it to a new level. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice, what else we got? What's going on here now? 41 going for it, seeking and destroying what's going on here. Oh, this has been tired. I did say that wasn't hanging about, <laughs> literally. Oh, yeah. So yeah, definitely uh, around this time, the light is perfect for PTOs and uh, hopefully another display. Huh? Yeah, that's right. I literally said this ain't hanging about. <laughs> Sorry, mate. PTO, beautiful. Have you uh, any any update on Atis? No, mate, it's just been um, towed. Beautiful, isn't it? So, free performance takeoffs today. Not quite vertical, but they can, they're still classed as performance takeoffs. And uh, if you're wondering what reheat and uh, afterburner is all about, uh, reheat, afterburner, same thing, one's uh, British. English, that's our reheats as we're in the RAF, and we've also got afterburner, of course, for uh, US English. It's American English for their aircraft. That's why we use the term reheats when it comes to here and uh, Royal Air Force, and we use afterburners for when we're at Lake and Heath and other US Air Force bases or aircraft. Here we go. McD, Logan, Brazil, how you doing, Neff, Heather, Tim Gooch, Chris Bloxham, thank you very much. All right there. That woke things up a bit, didn't it? That was beautiful, it didn't hang about. Rob Kennard, how you doing? This is absolutely incredible. What's up, man? What up? Absolutely. So those were 41 squadron. And uh, hopefully we'll get more. So I hope you like our uh, change of location today. We, uh, stuck to the plan. J914. Before it was blackjack, it uh, was black with the green bat of nine squadron. Before that, and before that um, was had. Um, I've seen it with uh, various squadrons. 41, 17. Said J914 in its history with, uh, of course, the uh, the grey. It's barley grey that they use.
it's Peter. Peter Reeve, Nikos is the top gun of camera. Thank you very much. I'll do my best. So I have to admit, uh, today was a bit of a challenge in that sunlight. Really, really challenging. Um, but we got there in the end. Hopefully there's another display practice, but I've got a funny feeling there won't be. Because uh, I think that's it. His next one will be at 500 feet. So I'm not sure if he's going to go on one day, 1500 and then 500. I'm not too sure if he's going to do that, but we'll find out. Thanks everyone, congratulations, congratulating us on 45k. Thank you. Simon G, thanks man. Oi, oi. <laughs> it, it's just, I love it. It's the sun. It's, it's like a warm day, everyone gets excited. <laughs> oh, I love it. Simon G, thank you very much for the super chat. Oh, let's, let's bring that man over now. Nearly got away there. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Simon G, thank you so much, man. Good to see you the other day at Lake Lake Neath. Thank you very much. Guards march for Simon G. Thank you very much. That's so kind of you, man. Thanks, Simon. Margot Baxter, thank you. Oh, and a high five, Simon. Thanks, man. And uh, Margot, thank you very much for your super chat. Thank you very much. Guards march. Marco Baxter again. Thank you for the super sticker. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. High five. Uh, John Minter, thanks TCS for making my hospital stay bearable. Bear I love that bearable. I hope you're well, man. Are you better now? I hope you're all good and recovered, man. John Minter, last march for you. I think they're just driving past the way with Ted, I think. And high five, thanks man. Uh, Argen, head up. John Minter, TCS got you back man. Thank you very much. Guards March for you, thank you so much. <laughs> Carol and Alan Harris, welcome to the Tech Connies Squadron. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Ted Collinsby Squadron, thank you. And also John Whittaker, welcome to the Ted Collinsby Squadron as well, thank you very much. Uh, F-15's high and dry up there, thank you very much for joining us. High five to all three of you, just joined. This is just the best today, man. Honestly. Uh, 
Uh, thanks, Andrea Hayes. I will check it out after the show. Thank you. On X, don't forget we do have um, social media when we get a chance to use it. It's <laughs> we're so busy with YouTube. It's incredible. It's incredibly busy here on the Ted Connorsby channel. Been eating lots of chocolate, hence they're all out. <laughs> Angus, I can answer that uh, from an F 15 pilot and Typhoon pilot, they are all different. So what I mean by that, if anyone's uh, wondering what I'm talking about. So if a pilot gets in one Typhoon, it flies differently and feels differently to another. An F-15 uh, E Strike Eagle pilot has told me the same thing. You can have two Strike Eagles and they both sort of feel and fly differently. So that is the answer. And that's, uh, that's from uh, two different pilots, two different aircraft that have told me it's like getting into a car. Um, you can have the same car and they both drive differently. They have a different character to them, is the answer to that. Very good question. Susan, Lost Souls Exploring. Please shout out Jill from Coningsby. She's watching at home from the lad stood near you. Lady. Is that you? <laughs> Typo. All right. What should it have said? Lady. Lady. Oh, sorry. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to forgive me. I'm just reading it. Uh, from the lady stood next to me. Please shout out Jill from Coningsby. How's that? Thank you. Is that darling. better? Oh, the dogs want to shout out as well from the little dog there. Shouting out to the other dog. Don't know what they are, but hello. <laughs> oh, dear. Got confused, yeah. very much everyone that's tuned in Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby Ted HQ and we're just uh, just awaiting the for more movements to really kick off wave two again you just don't know what will happen on the second wave if there is one maybe it was just those two we don't know I'm just going to check the no tabs actually see what time the base uh, closes according to the no tabs get uh, Marham, Lake and Eve and Coningsby, all three of them are closed on Friday, so don't get caught out. So, 1700 today, it is Tuesday, and uh, the base closes at 1700 today, local. Don't forget we start using Zulu and local time. Uh, don't forget, don't get caught out. All military NOTAMs are on Zulu time, okay? Don't get caught out, all right? So basically when the clocks go forward, the Royal Air Force use the GMT, which doesn't. It stays at Zulu time. I guess that means zero for Zulu. Just a guess. Thanks everyone who's tuned in and also supported the channel. Hit 45k, growing massively. Nice view of the hangars with the typhoons. Nice to be on this side, isn't it? Pretty cool, right? What we got going on over here? Looks like it's getting towed. Getting set up by ground crew Drew. So 
Simon 7PA, oi oi to you, how you doing? Through there, and imagine him on his uh, BMX. Bex, how you doing? Hope you're good. There it is. So the Typhoon doesn't have any uh, elevators, so it has uh, four planes on the front. Look. Made in four different countries left wing in Italy, right wing in Spain, main fuselage in Germany. And, uh, radome component software engine Britain. And all fits together. I love the fact that the, the, the left and right wing are made in two different countries. I like that. Who gets to decide that? I'll have the left, I'll have, and you can have the right. No, I want the right. No, I want the right. <laughs> love that. I think there's some more Italian parts. Leonardo on the back as well. I can't remember whereabouts with that. 82% carbon composite, which is a posh way of saying plastic gives it a bit of stealth attribute as well. Typhoon also has the S duct for intakes and that gives it another bit of stealth attribute due to the fact that if you were to look straight into the intakes you won't see the engine compression blades which give off heat which are detected by radar because of the shape uh, shaped like a letter S shall we say so you can't actually see them which hides the, uh, the heat signature of engines. So again giving it a bit of a stealth. There is another one, there is another stealth attribute. It's not naturally a stealth aircraft, but it does have three, at least three different stealth attributes, and I can't remember the third one. Maybe it's a secret. 27mm Mauser cannon, BK Mauser. As well, which is uh, located on the right side, the starboard side, as well, which we've heard on... Uh, Hull Beach, been fired in short bursts. Typhoon doesn't really need to use, doesn't really um, need them with its exceptional beyond visual range, that's BVR. But it can be used in different scenarios. Warnings or picking off a few targets for whatever combat reason. Or last resort. But it's there if needed, that's the thing. And they do need to train to use them. The Royal Air Force Typhoon has a bit of a decrease in the max speed. It's at Mach 1.8. Officially, the Eurofighter is a Mach 2.0. Twice the speed of sound, but the Royal Air Force have toned it down to 1.8 as a operational requirement. Doesn't need to have Mach 2.0. And that could be to increase its acceleration. I don't know if that's 100%, but I do know when working Back in the days with transmission gearboxes and cars, if you alter and manipulate and slow down the max speed, you actually increase the acceleration. But I don't know if that's the case with this. I don't know. Could be, not sure. <laughs> not sure if that's the case. Maybe I'll ask the uh, ground crew, Drew. Maybe you can tell me.
tiwi Little mung little mung Morning Fredgy Part of the regiment Just making sure it's all good It's a bit of a late one last night Luckily those kebab shops were open there now Can get me some chopping That's right My name's Fredgy Part of the RAF regiment Just making sure everyone's sweet and neat How the boys there How they doing We look after the airfield While oh, they're up there with their pretty little planes there now they're up there with the sky and I'm down here now. That's how I do it around here now. Everyone's behaving themselves around here. It's quite busy around here, isn't it, there now? Well, that's what the regiment do. Busy or not, here we come. And you behave yourself. And if you see that red Ted fella, just let me know there now. Just shout Reggie. I'll come and get him. I need a word of him. Apparently he's been up to mischief at Bryce Norton. I know, they had to go and get him. The RAF police had to come and get him, I know. Right, uh, some pretty red plane coming to save him. Took off. You can tell with Reggie's because of the mush. Right, antennas there now. Feelers. Oh, where's that car I need a word of that one. I've seen him the other day, need a word of him. What's that noise? Well, he got a pretty little plane starting up, I think. Yeah, there now. I hope you're enjoying these pretty little planes. Right, I'll be right back, behave yourselves. Just six promising over there. One, two, three, is that four canopies up over there? About that. Pretty cool, isn't it? Soda, how you doing? Hope you're good. Right, that's Blackjack doing there now. And, uh, let's have a little tour in the F, see what we can see. So this is the... Uh, Airfield Wildlife Control Unit to keep the uh, airfield sweet and neat of wildlife. Big shout out to them. And, uh, from here we can see the uh, also the fire and rescue team as well. There's also a crash team available as well. A medic. See the pilot doing their checks here, look. I'm sure it's all sweet and neat. Just about to see that, it's good timing. They'll check everything, any, any spillages, bit of oil, bit of fluid, anything like that. Make sure there's no nooks and crannies, no cracks so somewhere in there now. Any loose pylons or external fuel tanks or anything like that, we'll give it a good once over. And then, of course, we've got the pre startup checks as well to do, covers off, make sure the remove covers off the red covers tags everything and uh, this is a 12 squadron aircraft you can see the 340 that's part of the part of the serial number it will have two letters um, which are I can't zoom in because if I do I might get someone's face in there but um, they'll either have a ZK or a ZJ but this is probably a ZK being 12 squadron um, but it also it will be ZK 340 I believe that's what it is 
that's the uh, squadron markings of uh, 12 squadron so it looks like 12 squadron are next pilot just putting the helmet on so they'll get in and uh, move the hub cover and all other checks complete
inbound, Warlord. Where were they? <laughs> It is, yeah, 41. It's out by, oh, it's out in the sea between Wales and Cornwall. Or Devon, sorry. Or both. Depending on which line you draw. On, um, yeah, it's out in the, uh, out in the channel. Kenneth, thank you very much, man. Tim Gooch, how you doing? Hope you're good. Peter, how you doing? Pilot non flying, hope you're good. Oh. I don't panic, the owner is coming back, so it's all good. <laughs>
There we go, full ship coming up. Check this out. flight 29 squadron beautiful this is our Royal Air Force man Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, all you need to do is hit the like button and, of course, subscribe to the Ted Donnersby channel. It's free, and don't forget you can uh, 
you've been clear to land on the notification bell button, click all on your settings. You don't want to miss out. Scented teddy bears, look at this. Ted's home. And welcome to our debut in the Spotters Car Park. And it's been an absolutely incredible day. Recommend it. Nice and, uh, nice and happy viewing, really good. Chain link fence as well. Just like I said, be mindful of the busy road. PTO time, up it's come up. There's the S duct, perfect example. If you can't see the engine compression blades here, look. You know how it is, send it.
get there in the end. I think that's Warlord fight that came down.
goons coming out somewhere. I can hear them over here. Where are they? Oh, the, is that one there? I told you they had stealth, look at this. See that? The wolves. Stealth typhoon, look at this. Watching the Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Ted's home, Ted HQ. How we doing? How we all feeling? Hope you're all enjoying the show.
guys, hope we're all good. Welcome to Foon time. Two more Foon to our left. Uh, try not to smash the camera nick off.
this is absolutely incredible ladies and gents, 30 beds, hope you're enjoying this. There's so much going on at the moment, I don't know what way to look. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We're quite lucky because we get to go right onto there and walk yeah. by the side of the runway and then get to take it off. Oh, nice, nice. So we've been, it's about the fourth or fifth time we've been on here for a break now. Yeah. And um, oh, about three or four months ago, there were just four or five of them just taking off nice and gentle. And there's always one, always one show off. It's halfway down and they stood it on its Yeah, ass. that's it. Fun. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, I can't see out, it. But I, but I yeah. it was out. People said it was out, but um, maybe just getting in a little bit of sun into it, you know, uh, get it ready, get warm paint, it. Get paint off. Yeah. <laughs> it's busy today, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's really, really busy today. It's really busy. There's a lot of stuff in the sky at the moment. Yeah. There could be um, friends of my wife for an airport today. Two hundred of the jet provost. Oh, two? Yeah. Um, we'll make my little band at me just behind the airport there. He keeps an eye on the plane, uh, like, side of thing. Oh, right. Um, cycles down to the airport and I'll watch them take off. Being, um, uh, like, dead local to there. Yeah. I know some little, little tracks and bits of bog where you can get right to the very end of the apron on the airfield and watch it. isn't it? We watched the um, uh, we watched the Lancaster up there. We did the uh, tour of all the airfields and the Dam Dambusters thing. Nice. We watched we watched them up there from Kirby Road to Kirmington. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? But, uh, <laughs> nice one. What's that, KC135? Look like one. Or more anyway. Long, white, good engines. Oh, okay, they were, yeah. They running that up when I come back around the apron. Yeah. That's, uh, that goes to Wharton Aerodrome. It's got the BAE stuff in there. Right. Yeah, it's here every, almost every day, twice a day.
Um, as you can see that, yeah. that's, oh yeah, that's a video I probably shouldn't have taken. <laughs> seen it a second ago, I lost it. Give me a second. There. Um, with the sun, that ain't gonna help. Let me just put a filter on a sec. Probably gone in the sun now, actually. I might have lost this one. I might have lost it between the sun and the clouds. Hang on, where are you? Yeah, I think we lost that one. Okay, no worries. Alright buddy, no worries, thanks man, sorry. Work, yeah, thank you very, very much. Good. We will enjoy, enjoy watching Oh, thanks buddy, thank okay, you, okay, take thank care you. man. Yeah, so there was a KC-135 in the sky and I've missed, I've lost it between the sun and the clouds. No worries. Anyway, meanwhile, back at the range. <laughs> <coughs> Did it? <clears throat> Not quite what the pilot had in mind for today.
So a poorly typhoon. Get the point. Get our soon food. It's time for a cup of tea. Well, a little bit different to yesterday uh, for those that were tuned in with us at Plottisham. It was a very long day, but it was worth it in the end when we saw the fly past. Absolutely beautiful. Yep, time for some tea. Uh, you alright, man? Huh? Okay, I think it was the KC135 just flying over. There was three. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Oh. oh no! Oh, you did you see it from there? Did you, oh. oh dear! They're supposed to work simultaneously. Oh dear! <laughs> That's not good. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? And if this is your first time, you've hit a good day. Really good day, man. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, you go home and you can still hear them. You can actually still hear them when you get home, um, which is quite funny. Just, uh, just a couple of years, two years, but live about a year. About a year. But the channel's about to start two years old. Started off with a phone. <laughs> now ended up with a van. <laughs> That's how it is. That goes. Oh, that's not bad. What? What, £2 a, a month? About that. 
less than about one pound ninety a month. It's all right. anything else was a bonus well one <laughs> one luckily it did an air test it was there for about 45 minutes to an hour I think or that was that was good ah. huh? oh my signature tea is all good man <laughs> you know it is Lady Shent and Teddy Bears, how are we doing? Hope we're good. Ted Connorsby Channel live here at RAF Connorsby Teddy. Uh, <laughs> on demand. <laughs> oh, what a day. What a day. It's been a busy one. And, uh, well, I know you can't really compare, well, like yesterday, but um, but you can get quiet days here as well, don't forget. And, of course, we, we did that at Lake Eneath. We just had eight, which is... You know, it can happen, but then it can be all out mass takeoffs. So you just turn up, hope for the best, be prepared to see nothing, and then when you do. Exactly! <laughs> that was good timing. That was great timing. <laughs> oh man, what a day. 45k as well, thank you very much, everyone. All is good, right? So, uh, let's see what else we're gonna get. What else are we gonna get? Let's find out. Whew. I'm gonna miss today. I've really enjoyed it. I've really. <laughs> See ya! I've totally enjoyed today. Really, really have. This is. It's been a day that I'll never forget. I'll be here again uh, for those interested and, uh, and like the show from this angle. Um, do you know, even if they're using 2.5, I'll still try it out here just to mix it up a little bit it's quite nice i mean we do that at lake and eve sometimes and we certainly do that at bryce quite often very different feel but yeah we'll definitely come here again this is uh it was a it was one of those where we were going to go to readham lane and the fact that we're using 07 i was thinking uh we'll probably just see them look like they just took off from a hangar so i thought right that's it let's do it I resurfaced i got here early did a little test stream, see how it run, and it run okay, it run quite smooth, so I thought, here we go, and here we are now, 45k later, <laughs> that says it all, thank you everyone for that, that's uh, truly great. Congratulations on it. Hmm. Thank you very much buddy, thank you, thank you very much, it's been a great day, I can't wait, I can't wait for it to get warmer days, first time I've taken my jacket off in a long time. Hopefully it's not really real this year as well. <laughs> That was a disaster. Yeah. Would have been better off going swimming. You going Sunday? Yeah. Oh, cool. And uh, the Oh yeah, cool. Are you staying in? The, are you camping? Are you going on a campsite or just going? I think we're going on a campsite. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, that's the best way. I think. Oh no, I hope she gets better. Yeah. I hope she gets better. Oh, right, Ted, where are you, mate? Oh, actually, some uh, marching guards marches to do. I suppose my phone's on. Here we go.
got a ladder out on blackjack. That don't mean anything. Nothing on the A disc now. Right out. Okay, sure, give me a second. A nice 4 pm display, wouldn't it? <laughs> the light will be perfect. Oh, yeah. Is it ten minutes ago? Okay. Um, so wherever we're going to be at, we've got no idea. So we're going to do stuff. Every time, let me do my stuff.
up, buddy? Oh. Turn on with blackjack. Probably prepping it for tomorrow. So. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy Bears, hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby Channel. Live here at uh, RAF 10 HQ. Support ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Ted's gonna do some guards marches. Who we got then, Ted, and what we got, mate? So we've got uh, uh, Robert Himlock, member for eight months. Oi, oi, eight months posh. Can finally tune in more now on Easter break from college. Well, I hope college uh, is going well for you. Um, Robert Himlock, thank you very much for your eight month service. Guards march. Rob Kennard, thank you very much for the super chat. Congrats on 45k, you so deserve this. Thank you very much, man. Cards March with some flash cars in the background. <laughs> oh, nice one. Thank you very much, man. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Anthony Buckley, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you very much, Cards March. So kind of you, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Nick Ward for Ted, always bringing the luck, TCS rule. Thank you very much, Nick. Guards march for you, man, thank you. Hope you're good, hope you're well. Thanks so much. And uh, Gary Hook, what an amazing show today, Ted, nice one. And thank you, man, thank you very much, Gary Hook. Thanks for your super chat, guards march. Oh, yeah. Oh, nicely done, Ted. 9 So we've still got plenty of foons out there at the moment. How's Blackjack getting along? Having uh, some, uh, checks probably packed for tomorrow, perhaps? We don't know. Uh... J145. Oh, Some foons up there as well.
Nice one. Have ya? Yeah. Sweet.
still going. Beautiful, nicely done. Some exceptional landings today. Not that we're marking them, but it's so good. I mean, we always get flattered by the uh, departures, but the landings are just exceptional. Felix and uh, it's the uh, BA Systems work bus their commuting air transport beautiful not bad way to go to work and back eh and uh, it's uh, based at Walton Aerodrome with BAE Systems and it will either go to Lossie or straight back to uh, depending on where they're going what they're doing but it does go to Lossie as well because BAE Systems staff operate there as well for Foons, oh, beautiful, beautiful aircraft. It's got a really good climb rate, you'll see in a moment. Really, really good climb rate. Check this out, here we go. It was nice to get the TED stats here from here as well, it's good. Did it? 
Teddy. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears? Hope you've all enjoyed the day. It's been incredible. Just gonna check the sky, see what we got. Lots of foons out. Thanks, Mike Child. Congrats on 45K. Glad the weather's better there than it is here in Hampshire. Uh, properly uh, miserable down here. Amazing display by Turbo. Well captured. Thank you very much. It wasn't easy in the uh, in the sun. Pretty much most of it's displayed. But uh, yeah. lesson learned from me. It's always good. I've always said if you want to learn how to do something in extreme conditions and be in the extreme conditions. So I do appreciate that. in a Tech Collins B membership. Guards March for you. Thank you. Thanks so much for that. Thanks for making someone a member. Thank you very much. Uh, Tim Gooch as well, gifting a Tech Collins B membership. Thanks a lot, Tim. Guards March for you. Oh, the running man he looks like Ted's having a little race with. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Tim. Thank you again for uh, making someone a member. Mike Child again. Thank you. Uh, for the super chat, it's been great. It's on 45k. Glad the weather's better there than it is in here in Hampshire. Probably miserable here. Amazing display by Turbo. Well captured, and thank you so much. It means a lot. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks for the super chat, Guards March. Nice. Ted, there's no whoppers here, mate. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Drew was under blackjack, it was indeed. He was there. Oh, Sal, we know him. Thank you very much. Happy 45k, Sal, we know him. Thank you so much for that guards march coming up for you, man. Thank you. Really appreciate all your help today. Ted, off you go, mate. Another guard's mark. Here we go. Selwyn Owen, thank you very much. go once a year. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, it's been trying to come out. It's a fantastic idea now and I think it really I'll show you it's really cool. This is from the I think it's an excellent idea. Really. Yeah. So I think it's a crack idea. Um, it's so good. Sometimes when you've got things you can't remember. Um, you write it down and it tells you to take some yeah. stuff like that. It's stuff that you don't always really think about.
I forget the castle. <laughs> you know how much I love this castle. So that's uh, loyalty binds me. That's the uh, motto of RAF Coningsby. And this is Tattershall Castle and it's featured on the uh, station crest for the base. Yeah, it's great. I bet the view's amazing on that castle. <laughs> Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah, milled and all tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be a good day. You could never tell. Sometimes you get it good. Yeah. remember if Rampage was a four, a flight of four, I can't remember that. We'll find out in a minute and we'll come round. Oi oi! <laughs> All day, just get shouts from the base, it's hilarious. What? The power of Ted. It's this been all day like that, man. One of the guys actually came in, so... Yeah, it's not really <laughs> I can't remember if this one went out as a courtship. Oh, it's two. Okay. So, I'm, I'm sure one went out as a courtship, I think. It's been that busy. <laughs> the came back earlier, didn't it? That'll be it. Yeah. Oh, that, uh, yes, it did. I don't know if they were the ones from Lossie. Right. Okay. Well, then they're, they're from here, but they yes. were they yeah. went to Lossie and come back. Oh well. Oh, Either way, we'll take this. <laughs> so they're from Pittsburgh. Here we go.
sounds of Car AF Coningsby. Here we go. today with just just being at the same base but different location it really adds to that feel that we're somewhere else it's really really cool and I have to say I'm loving it Good. I'll get. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right, what else have we got? 
Welcome. You've been here, been here all day, or you just got? You've been here all day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, great, isn't it? It's a bench well. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's been great. It's been really good. I couldn't see the, I couldn't see the pillar of the car. Ah, oh, okay. And uh, my wife said, "Yeah, you can do." Oh, 
Last few uh, typhoons coming back. Here we go, our first two.
the circuit. Teddy bears, the landings have been absolutely incredible today. Along with everything, along with everything else, well, I can see three in the circuit.
a bit faster. Let's go proper.
landing light on.
day it's been Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. Ted HQ as well. Fooned us. We've been fooned. What a day it's been. And just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's tuned in today. It's been incredible. So much action today. Typhoon of the day.
Yeah. No worries, kiddo. Give me the answer. Yes. Let's start. Can the train go back to the description? Oh, nice one, man. Thank you. What are you going for then, kiddo? Uh, I'm going for the... Oh, the patch? Yeah, yeah. You're going for it? Cool, good choice. That's our new one, that is. Just making sure you've got quite fun change. I do, yeah. yeah. What a day it's been, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. I hope you all enjoyed that one. A great day. Just uh, see this typhoon come back. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Banner Flight. Hope you're all good. Uh, probably got some uh, guards marches to do as well, I believe. Yeah, we do, Ted. We won't forget them. We've got MC, MC Picks. We've got Roger Payne, the Norwegian Bear. Uh, the Norwegian Bear twice. Uh, K Nichols, 1309 as well. We won't forget you, don't worry. Amazing, wasn't it? Uh, let's have a look. MC Pitts, member for eight months. Thank you. Awesome work on 45. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for the eight month service. Uh, Roger Payne, special day today. Thanks, TCS. Roger Payne, thank you very much. Guards March for you, man. That's awesome, thank you. Norwegian Bear, thank you for joining the Ted Fonis B Fighter Squadron. Thank you very much, Guards March. For you, thank you so much for that. Thanks, Norwegian Bear. Thank you very much. 
and Norwegian Bears also gifted 10 Ted Coningsby memberships. High five, man. High five. Guards march for that. Thank you. The Norwegian Bear from a Coningsby Bear. <laughs> so kind of you. Thank you so much. It's, it's just an incredible day. Uh, K Nichols, 1309, member for four months. Thank you so much for your four month service. Guards march for you, man. Raven. <laughs> well, I'll send it. Oh, the Chinook's coming back. <laughs> Members only video. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's coming here. Ah, oh, we'll wait for it. We'll wait for the Chinook. It'll be good. Right, we were going to end it, but we're going to go and see a Chinook. <laughs> How are we doing? Right, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, uh, we're not going to end it just yet. We've got a Chinook coming, uh, coming back um, for a refuel. So we've got to catch that. Might as well. Got to be in it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you everyone that's tuned in today. An incredible day, what, don't you think? What a great day, what a great memories we've got here of this place. Um, it's been amazing. Ted's just proud of his Royal Air Force and his home, RAF Coningsby. Absolutely brilliant. The Foons have... Oh, that sound of the shutdown. It's just amazing. So we're just gonna wait just a little bit more now for the uh, Chinooks. Chinook inbound. Here we go. <laughs> That'd be nice if it comes right over here. Actually, it does, doesn't it? If I remember correctly, it will come right over here. Come on. It's waka waka time. So Matthew Clark, thank you very much. Ted brings the luck. Thanks, Nick Austin Spanners. Thank you. Cadwell5, how you doing? Hope you're good. Tal Trassin, how you doing? Margot Baxter, Mef, Jonathan McD, gotta wait for the walker. Absolutely. Too right. Uh, Richard Winterton says great today. Uh, thank you again. You're welcome, man. Roger Anthony Lowe, no great stream today. Nikos, thanks for bringing it to us. You're welcome. Bring it! <laughs> Uh, Cadwell 5, that was amazing. Well well done, Nick Ross and Ted, and well done on 45k. Thank you very much. It's been an incredible day. We've had all sorts. Uh, and Thera, hello from France. Bonjour, how you doing? Uh, Edward Coates, excellent stream of the Foon Circuits and Touch of Goes plus Turbo's morning practice display. Nick Ross, thank you very much. Ian Riley, great day, lots of action. Nikos, Ted, Spanner Flight, still the best mods in the game. Kudos to you all, I'm here until we finish, but thank you all, thank you very much. Sammy B, how's it going? Thanks for a great stream again. Nikos says, hey, Abusa Nasa, Nutter. Uh, Sammy B, from the bits I caught, looked like a very good day. Well done on 45k too, thank you very much. Paul Murphy, great stream today. So many typhoons, I know. Christine Barnes says big waves, been a great day watching on the streaming, it says John Harvey. So we know and hope you're good man, thanks for today as well, thanks everyone. Colin Booth says fantastic stream. Thanks to all involved, thank you LC, what a great day, thanks Ted and Nikos and all the staff and crews at RF Coningsby, well said. <laughs> Babzar, how you doing, hope you're good. Uh, I think I'm going to going to have that noise in my ears all night probably Davey what an epic day absolutely Margot Baxter how you doing hope you're good 
Do -do -do. Uh, love the RAF. Hi, Nico. Saw you earlier. Yeah, take care, man. <laughs> People from watching from Chile, VA, Hawk, how you doing? Right, uh, David Wolf, Manuel's great stream, Nikos. Donna Harbert, wow, evening, you're still live, congrats too, right? <laughs> what a week, and it's only Tuesday, says Selwyn Owen, I know. Yeah, not not long now for the Chinook, we'll come here for a, a refill, a refuel, sorry. Refill. Yep, very close now, let's have a look, let's have a look for some Chinookage. <laughs> that was a good one, whoever put that on there. All right, you'll probably hear it before you see it. Got to get the walker, let's have a bit of blade slap. Where are you? In fact, last time it, um, this is in my early days, if you ever see my video of me getting excited. It just come round over here, it's really good. All oh, right, nice one. Yeah, it's not far now. Should be over there. I can hear it now. Get ready for some blade slap. <laughs> so, how does it go, mate? How does the walker go, mate? Ted, show us an impression of a Chinook. So Ted's just going to show us an impression of a chinook. Ready? Go. Oh dear. Oh, Beret recovery team. Thank you. Oh, yes, got it. <laughs> no, thanks for that. Beret recovery team. There we go. Here we go. Oh yes! So we'll, uh, we'll be taxiing to the right for a refuel.
Bugs are ladies, gents, and teddy bears. That's come from, uh, well, originally from RF Odium. Just been working the range at Hull Beach. Now coming here for a refuel. Thanks very much, everyone, for today. Absolutely incredible day. Oh, Right, that's it, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Thank you all. Alright, we're doing ladies, gents, and teddy bears. What a day! Uh, and we also hit 45k. An incredible day with so much to, so much to reflect on. It's um, it's it's unreal. It's been there's been so much going on today. It's been incredible from Turbo's practice display in the morning, which again was absolutely ferocious. Really, really good. Real, real amazing stuff from uh, Turbo. I'm sure he'll be proud of that when they review that one. Uh, thank you everyone that's tuned in today, of course, to help us get to 45,000 subscribers. That's, that's a good testament and how incredible you all have been today. Really, really good. Viewers, thank you all today. Honestly, um, it's been an amazing day. Hitting a thousand likes um, as well and it's going up and up. So it's been an incredible day and we've all enjoyed it. So, um, Again, thank you all so much for that. RF Coningsby, thank you very much for your service today. Thank you for what you do, protecting and defending our UK airspace. Thank you very much. An incredible, incredible thing that you do. Thank you. Uh, shout out to the, the uh, two RAF police that were here earlier today. Oi, oi. <laughs> Hope you're good. And everyone that was playing the horn inside the base today, driving past. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Really, really good. That's the Ted Coningsby channel for you. Hope you're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. And um, it's, like I said, it's just been an incredible journey. 45K today is, is amazing. Really, really good uh, to hit those numbers. An incredible time. And uh, yeah, thanks all those that are gifted memberships. Again, a phenomenal amount of gifted memberships today. Those of you who've taken out Ted Coningsby memberships as well, thank you as well for that. And all you that have done super chats and super stickers. I, I, honestly, I can't do it without you. It's been an incredible 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 experience really 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 awesome time and uh, i hope you enjoyed that and a nice little finale with the chinook coming into land as well an amazing uh, journey it's been so for the last time for today it's see you soon wish you well oh yeah ted conning speed channel bringing you live military aviation <laughs> <laughs> Got to push back those dentures, you know, it's that time of year, you know what I mean? But thanks very much, man. Honestly, you enjoy. Have a good evening, a good day, wherever you're watching from in the world. Much love to you all. Thanks a lot. Take care. See you soon. Wish you well. Let's ride. See ya. Come on, Ted.
a day it's been. Goodness me, this span has been working hard today. I'll tell you that. How are we all doing? Grand Crew Drew, hope you enjoyed the show. I've got some phones to fix. Three of them. Got on a bit of Barney Rubble, I think. Couldn't fly today. I've got to go to work now. I've got a lot to do. Right, see you soon. Hit that like button and do subscribe to the Tectonic Speed channel. These pilots, eh? They break it, we fix it. That's right, Grand Crew. Not a lot of people know about us. See ya.